Kenya, a land of contrast and diversity, is a country that has captured the imaginations of people around the world. In recent years, however, Kenya has become known for something else entirely, its impossible super skyscrapers. These towering structures, rising high into the sky, have become a symbol of Kenya's determination and ambition in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges. In this video, we will delve into the world of Kenya skyscrapers, exploring the stories of the architects, engineers, and builders behind these incredible structures. We will see the challenges they faced, from limited resources to a lack of technical expertise, and the innovative solutions they came up with to overcome them. We will witness the struggles and triumphs of these pioneers as they push the limits of what is possible in construction and design. Through their stories, we will gain a deeper understanding of the ingenuity and determination of the Kenyan people and a newfound appreciation for the impossible super skyscrapers that have captured the world's attention. Join us as we begin on a journey into the heart of Kenya's construction industry and discover the secrets behind some of the most awe-inspiring structures on the African continent. First it's the Kenyatta International Convention Center. Also known as the KICC, is one of the most iconic buildings in Nairobi, Kenya. Completed in 1974, the 28-story tower stands at a height of 105 meters and is a prominent feature of the city's skyline. The KICC was originally designed to be the headquarters of the United Nations in Africa, but funding for the project fell through and it was repurposed as a convention center instead. The KICC features several conference halls, exhibition spaces, and meeting rooms, making it a popular venue for events of all kinds. The tower also features a helipad on the roof, which has been used by dignitaries and VIPs visiting Nairobi. The KICC is situated in the heart of Nairobi's central business district, making it easily accessible to visitors from all over the city. The KICC is also notable for its unique cylindrical design, which was inspired by traditional African architecture. The tower is clad in white marble and features a distinctive pattern of circular windows that spiral up the building's facade. The interior of the tower is equally impressive, with spacious halls and grand staircases that give the building a sense of grandeur and elegance. Over the years, the KICC has hosted some of the most important events in Kenya's history, including the signing of the Constitution in 2010. Today, it continues to be a symbol of Kenya's progress and development, as well as a hub for business and cultural exchange. Whether you're attending a conference, taking in the view from the helipad, or simply admiring its unique architecture, the KICC is a must-see destination for anyone visiting Nairobi. Next it's The Teleposter Towers, located in the heart of Nairobi's central business district, are a striking pair of high-rise buildings that have become an iconic landmark in the city's skyline. Completed in 1999, the Twin Towers stand at a height of 120 meters and are home to several government offices, including the Ministry of Information, Communication and Technology. The towers are notable for their unique design, which incorporates elements of traditional African architecture. The buildings are clad in red and white tiles, which give them a distinctive appearance, and feature a series of arches and curves that create a sense of movement and fluidity. The towers are also connected by a striking skybridge, which offers stunning views of the city below. The teleposter towers were built to replace the original telecommunications post and telephones building, which was demolished in the early 1990s. The new towers were designed to be more modern and efficient, with state-of-the-art facilities and a focus on sustainability. The towers feature a number of energy-saving features, such as solar panels and a rainwater harvesting system. Today, the teleposter towers are one of the most recognizable landmarks in Nairobi and a testament to the city's forward-thinking approach to architecture and design. Whether you're admiring their unique appearance from the ground, taking in the view from the skybridge, or conducting business within their walls, the teleposter towers are a must-see destination for anyone visiting Kenya's vibrant capital city. Moving on. Times Tower, also known as the New Central Bank Tower, is a 38-story office tower in Nairobi, Kenya. It is the third tallest building in Kenya, after the Britam Tower and the UAP Tower. 
The building was designed by Triad Architects and was completed in 1997. It is located on Haile Selassie Avenue, in the Central Business District of Nairobi. Times Tower is home to a number of government agencies, including the Kenya Revenue Authority, the National Social Security Fund, and the Central Bank of Kenya. It also houses a number of private businesses, including banks, law firms, and insurance companies. The building is a popular tourist destination and offers stunning views of the city from its rooftop observation deck. Times Tower is a landmark building in Nairobi and is a symbol of the city's economic growth and prosperity. The building has been featured in a number of films and television shows, including the BBC series The Africa Show and the Hollywood movie The Constant Gardener. Times Tower is a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of Kenyan architects and engineers. The building is a modern marvel and is a source of pride for the people of Kenya. Next it's UAP Old Mutual Tower. It is a 33-story office complex in the Upper Hill neighborhood of Nairobi, Kenya. It is the tallest building in Kenya and the 10th tallest building in Africa. The building was designed by NBBJ and was completed in 2016. It is owned by UAP Old Mutual Group, a financial services conglomerate headquartered in Kenya. UAP Old Mutual Tower has a total floor area of 29,000 square meters, 310,000 square feet. It is LEED Gold certified, which means that it meets the highest standards of environmental sustainability. The building has a number of energy-efficient features, including solar panels, rainwater harvesting, and a green roof. It is home to a number of businesses, including banks, law firms, and insurance companies. It is also a popular tourist destination and offers stunning views of the city from its rooftop observation deck. The building is a symbol of Nairobi's economic growth and prosperity. The UAP Old Mutual Tower is a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of Kenyan architects and engineers. The building is a modern marvel and is a source of pride for the people of Kenya. The next marvel on our list is Britam Tower. It is a 40-story office tower in Nairobi, Kenya. It is the second tallest building in Kenya after the UAP Old Mutual Tower. The building was designed by NBBJ and was completed in 2017. It is owned by Britam, a Kenyan insurance company. Britam Tower has a total floor area of 24,000 square meters. It is LEED Gold certified, which means that it meets the highest standards of environmental sustainability. The building has a number of energy-efficient features, including solar panels, rainwater harvesting, and a green roof. Britam Tower is home to a number of businesses, including banks, law firms, and insurance companies. It is also a popular tourist destination and offers stunning views of the city from its rooftop observation deck. The building is a symbol of Nairobi's economic growth and prosperity. Britam Tower is a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of Kenyan architects and engineers. The building is a modern marvel and is a source of pride for the people of Kenya. And finally we've got The Pinnacle, this building is a 33-story residential tower in Nairobi, Kenya. It is the tallest residential building in Kenya and the 12th tallest building in Africa. The building was designed by NBBJ and was completed in 2018. It is owned by The Pinnacle Group, a Kenyan real estate developer. The Pinnacle has a total floor area of 23,000 square meters. It has 330 apartments, ranging from studios to penthouses. The building has a number of amenities, including a swimming pool, a gym, a sauna, a steam room, a business center, and a rooftop terrace with stunning views of the city. The Pinnacle is located in the Upper Hill neighborhood of Nairobi, which is a popular area for businesses and embassies. The building is close to a number of schools, hospitals, and shopping malls. The Pinnacle is a popular choice for both locals and foreigners looking for a luxurious and convenient place to live in Nairobi. The Pinnacle is a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of Kenyan architects and engineers. The building is a modern marvel and is a source of pride for the people of Kenya. As we look out at the skyline of Nairobi, we can see a city that is on the rise. 
The construction of these super skyscrapers is a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of Kenyan architects and engineers. These buildings are a symbol of Kenya's economic growth and prosperity. They are also a source of pride for the people of Kenya. These skyscrapers are not just impressive structures. They also play an important role in the city. They provide much-needed office space for businesses, and they also create jobs for construction workers and other professionals. These buildings also help to attract tourists to Nairobi, which in turn benefits the local economy. The construction of these skyscrapers is just one example of the many ways that Kenya is changing and growing. The country is on the cusp of a new era of prosperity, and these buildings are a sign of things to come. We can only imagine what the future holds for Nairobi. But one thing is for sure, these skyscrapers will be a part of it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe as this enables our content reach a wider audience. See you in the next one.